Hey guys and welcome back to my video. So in the last video you saw me reviewing the W7 um, whole little thing over here. One thing I will note is that this liquid lip color is actually so hard to take off. I had to scrub my face really hard in order to take that off. So I mean that's a pro and a con. It lasts all day but it also is very difficult to come off the lips. But overall I really did like that. The same thing with the eyeliner. I don't know if you guys can still tell but there is still some marks on my hand. I tried to take it off. Yet again I scrubbed it, put soap and it took a long time and it's still there. Um, so for today's video it's going to be just a little review of a product that somebody recommended to me. Um, and this is the Artistry Studio New York City Edition. This is a eyeshadow palette and also a face palette at the same time. So it has three eyeshadow up here and then these are the face products down here. Alrighty, and then with this it also comes with a Artistry Studio New York City Edition 2-in-1 lipstick. So I haven't seen this before and it has this little sponge at the end and on the other side I believe is the actual, yeah, the actual lip color. So this is going to be fun to use. Um, since it is just two products I will have to mix in a few of the other products that I have here as well. So I'll be using the um, same eyeliner that I used in the last video which is by W7. But I'm going to be using the, um, the pair to this one. Instead of the iFly I'll be using the Love Line on it. I think it's a smaller wing that I can create with this. So I already put on some foundation. I actually used the Bye Bye Redness um, by It Cosmetics. It's this little tub here. It's not really foundation, it just covers up any redness that you may have on your skin, so that's really good to use. And I'm going to start by putting on the eyelids um, some of the Tape Shape Concealer. This is very well known, everybody uses it, everybody loves it. So all you have to do with this is just put it on your eyelid and make sure you have a wet damp beauty blender and then just blend it in. Okay, so that is the concealer put on, so now I'm going to go in with the eyeshadow that I mentioned before. This is what it looks like close up. The only really dark shade is this brown over here, so it will be a very light, neutral face that I'll be putting on. I'm going to go in with the shade labeled number one, so these are labeled one through six. Number one is like a, I would call it a transition shade, and I'm just going to pat that all over the lid. So shade number one you guys can't really see on the eyelid so I'm going to go in with shade number three and I'm going to pat that all over the eyelid and then I will show you what I do with two. It's going to be really simple. Like I said it's going to be a really classy look. You can go anywhere with it. So I'm just going to pat that all over the eyelids. Okay, so there's the brown laid down. Now I'm going to go in with shade number two, which is the one right in the middle. And I'm just going to pat that onto the inner corner of my eye. Um, you'll see that this is a reoccurring trend, especially when I have on a dark eyeshadow as my base. I like to go in with a lighter one just to kind of add definition to the eye. And I'm just gonna put that right at the beginning. Like that. You guys might not be able to see it yet. I'll zoom you guys in later. Um, so now I'm going to go in with, let's see here. So the back is in, I think, Japanese or Chinese. So I can't really read what everything on the back is supposed to be for. But um, I'll guess. Um, so definitely the middle one here, number five, is to be used as a blush. So I'll be using that right now. So it is very light. Um, it almost has a little bit of a shimmer to it. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like, yeah, kind of shimmery. It's very nice though. 
there's the blush. Um, I like it. Very simple, subtle. I noticed that every number has a designated place to go on the actual face. So number one is to put above the eyelid. So it's to be put right here, like right underneath the eyebrow. So let's follow that direction. And then it said that number three is just to be used on the outer corner of the eye, which, like I said, you can do a lot. So I just use it as a contour shade as well. And number five is a blush, but number four, the color here, that's actually supposed to be a highlighter. So we'll try that out as a highlighter as well. It says on the cheeks, on the forehead, and on the chin. So there's that. And now I'm going to go in with the actual eyeliner. As I said, I'll be using the Love Line, the one that I mentioned in the previous video that I got from the giveaway from W7. And I'm going to go in with the felt tip pen, not the other side because that is the heart pen, um, the heart stamp. Okay, again, I actually really do like how this eyeliner applies. It's very smooth, it dries quickly, and it has that kind of um, metallic finish. It's not really matte. I don't like matte eyeliners because they just, they seem too bland. So this one does have a little bit of shine. It's really pretty. Um, next, I'm going to go in with my mascara, which is by Too Faced. This one is running a little bit dry, so I might have to um, switch in between this and another mascara but hopefully this one will last me long enough. So there is the mascara on, and last but not least, I'm going to go in with this 2-in-1 lipstick. I'm not too sure how to use it, but we will learn. So here it has a little twisting motion, so I'm going to try that out, see what that does. I don't know. So the twisting motion here does not coordinate with this sponge up here, it actually goes to this part down here which is the actual lipstick. So I guess you have to use this first and then it blends the rest out. So let's try that out. So it does apply really nice. It's kind of smooth. It's um, it gives you like moisture at the same time. So I'm going to now use the other side, which is the sponge side, and see how that applies. Okay, so I found the other side to be really helpful with picking up any unwanted pieces, like when the lipstick clumps a little bit and it really like kind of cleaned everything and made it a smooth finish but overall I really like it. Now the shade isn't really something I'm used to but it turns out that I actually really do like it so it was a surprising finish for me. Um, like I said it does give you moisture, it does feel good on the lips, it's not sticky at all. Um, it does transfer a little bit though but I imagine that's because it didn't dry down in time. So what I'm going to do now is just put on some setting spray and I'm going to be using the MAC Prep and Prime setting spray. This is just a small sample size. Let that dry down. So I'm just going to zoom in really quick and show you guys the finishing look. So there you guys have the completed look using the Artistry Studio New York City Edition eyeshadow palette and the lip gloss that came with it too. Sorry, the lipstick that came with it too, the 2-in-1 lipstick. Um, overall, my review about this is that I actually really do like it. I thought I wouldn't as much as I did, but the eyeshadow itself was a very easy um, like texture to work with. It wasn't clumpy. It, there wasn't any fallout at all. Like The pan looks completely new. The colors, although not too pigmented, it was... The perfect type of pigmentation so the brown really did um, look really nice on the eyelids 
And yeah, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with this. Uh, so definitely I will be adding a link down below so you guys can check that out as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.